up? It's your girl, Thick Trap Hippie with Healthy Hood Network, and we're going to talk about just why we're getting into doing side hustles and anything. I mean, we're all about to basically face a lot of stuff just dealing with a pandemic. And speaking of that, make sure that you guys are taking your vitamins. You know, vitamin C is very important during this time of year and your omegas. So make sure you're getting good GLA, omega-3s, healthy oils, healthy fish oils, because it's very important, especially when you're um, an essential worker, which I believe notaries are. And this is my new adventure. So I would definitely encourage you to take some vitamins while you're out here and even when you're not because this is a pandemic and COVID is going on and you're just meeting people constantly doing these signings and um, you're going to need to make sure that you're safe. Besides just wearing a mask and social distancing, you need to boost your immune system. So now that's being said, I'm going to talk about why I even got into this or even interested. You know, I'm about my money. I do work full time. I do my Healthy Hood Network ventures. I'm an author. Um, I'm an illustrator. I'm a mom. So, you know, we wear all kind of different hats. Becoming a notary is in the lane of what I'm doing. Now, some people think, hey, it's only for a certain type of people, bankers or tellers or whatever, but it is not. The truth is almost anybody can be a notary, um, as long as you, you know, not like a bad felon or a felon or whatever, you know, check their stipulations in your state. Um, that's what research, you know, researching is key. So make sure that you're doing that. But we're all in this to get our money. Um, finding new ways to make money and supplement our income is very, 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 very important. So talking about how much does notaries make? Notaries makes a different amount basically based on your state and where you are, the service you're providing, if you're mobile, um, and what type of document you're signing. And all of those are factors that we need to pay attention to. To be aware of the fees that you charge. And the fees basically range from like $2 per notarized or notarial act to $5 per notarial act. And again, that does vary within your state. And if you're traveling and all of that is a factor. So being a direct a uh, notarizer um, or notary signing agent, um, being um, working for different agencies, you know, you're probably only going to get a percentage. So all of this is a factor. Now, we've touched on how to become a notary, and each state is a little different, um, the application process and the fees. So make sure that you check with your current state and just their process. You can um, always go to the Secretary of State or your local county clerk and check that out. Why are we becoming a notary? Because we're trying to find another way to make income and get this money. Yes, indeed, that's very important. So there is a reason why we're gonna take on this new venture. And how much money can you make varies on what you do. So I'm going to give some tips that I found uh, doing some research, okay? Research is everything. You must do research. You must look up what you can do once you become a notary. I showed you in the first video when I was getting commission. I showed you in the second video um, when I was actually getting my seal and my book and things like that. So today we're going to just talk about a few ways I'm researching on how to get these coins, okay? Now, once you become a notary, you can begin charging for um, certain services and, you know, you will have special fees for those services that you're going to provide. These are public services. So, we have notary fees as notaries, right? The public services that we can provide um, our services as notaries on would be um, administrative oaths, 
Um, we will be able to verify signatures on official documents. Um, and you definitely have to make sure you maintain proper records. You can do things like um, work for accountants, law firms, um, do loan signings, um, power of attorneys. There's so many different things that I found doing my research. Also make sure that you're getting your promotional items together. Promotions is everything. So get promo items, pens, flyers, cards, all that stuff. And go to different places where you can actually leave your um, you know, promo items, your cards or whatever. And you can leave your advertisements. Um, things are These things are very, very important. Just saying local businesses and see if you can leave your items in there like accountant law firms engineer firms title signing services medical offices insurance agencies fedex and ups services and office supply stores there are you know a few to name you know but that can definitely get some buzz going on people when they're looking for your services so make sure that you are using your local area um, and promoting yourself and your new notary business. I would even check grocery stores um, and places like that as well because that is um, where people frequent. Restaurants even, um, libraries if they're open. I don't know if too many are open right now, but every place that you think your service can be seen, I will leave my card there. Your availability will be key. Being available when others aren't is really big. So weekends and holidays, make sure you kind of check into that and see if you're going to be willing to offer your services and what time frame will work for you. Unless your current employer is paying you per notary document, you're going to need to maximize everything that you sign. And this is how you're going to do it. So you're going to make money based off of the number of documents that you're verifying um, signature on, the number of signatures that you are verifying. This is what your job is, right? So as a freelance notary, every document is valuable. Every doc document <laughs> means some coins. And this is something that we have to pay attention to because if we miss anything, we're missing money, okay? And this is why it's important to charge the maximum amount per document. Just saying. You can only charge a few uh, dollars per document anyway, so you need to make sure that you're making sure each signature is verified and you're charging for it. Now you're like, well, people can go other places. Unless their bank is offering free notary service, you're charging pretty much what everybody else is charging. And if they want to go somewhere else, you know, that's their option. But just, you know, you have to make yourself more, um, I mean, it's up to you how, to, how you set your price. But again, you need to maximize what you're signing, period. Um, and they're most likely going to pay the same rate with a different notary anyway. So you, you know, be professional, but definitely let it be known that this is your service because you've come to them, especially if you've come to them. You know, that's mo mobile is where the coins are, just saying. And since I'm talking mobile, mobile notary does not restrict you on location. If you have a car and you're willing to drive around and with your notary kit, and you could charge basically like $50 to $75. And some people even charge like $100. It depends on the document to meet your client. But the travel in itself is basically you would charge a mobile fee and that would usually range from $50 to $75. Now, this is um, important in how you can make close to $20 an hour as a notary because you're getting paid for the convenience of your services and plus the standard notary fees. And that's important. We'll check out online um, notary options. Due to the pandemic, you can work remotely in almost, I believe, 42 states, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I know it initially started in Virginia where you can notarize electronically, 
but I know in my state, in Georgia, there is a remote option. I believe it's RIN and because it, we're able to use verification services um, like Zoom or um, even Duo or something like that. Meet the chat, you know, any of those public um, video chats, they weren't actually recognized in notary prior to the pandemic. But um, because they but they did have a remote option and that was through their own service. I believe it was um, remote o R O N or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to do a little more research on that. But definitely know that there are remote options now, especially because it's a pandemic. So this is a great thing for notaries. It's safe. Um it does require a lot of steps, and I will do a video about that. So if you're interested on how to be a remote notary, check, you know, stay tuned. Make sure that you like and make sure you subscribe and cut that notification on because I will be doing a video about that and the research that I found about remote notaries. Excuse me. <laughs> But um, there's a lot of additional ways to make money as a notary. If you're looking to start your own business, um, I would start, I'm starting part-time, you know. You, if you jump head first into anything, be prepared for whatever is at the bottom, <laughs> you know. If you be, be prepared for the deep end, be prepared to sink or swim, but I'm just going in. I'm going to ease my way in, so, you know, I'm a little safer. I start at the three foot, you know, with the little kids. Um, but I definitely am going to start part time. I will sign up with a couple of local services, but I'm definitely going for direct um, working for myself. I am still checking in, seeing if I want to form an LLC prior to doing anything. But I know I don't necessarily have to. I just know in the further in the future, I'm sure that I will um, in the near future. But um, we can do so many different things. Um, it's just making going to open your business and how you're going to offer your notary services. We can do certain things that I wasn't even aware of in certain states, which is pretty cool, like officiate weddings. I thought you had to be a priest or, you know, a pastor or something like that. Um, but that's pretty cool. So it just depends on what state you're in and, you know, what you're willing to do. So do your research and see what you can do with your notary the sign in service. Speaking of um, officiating weddings, you know, I'll be a little more specific. I did find out that Florida, Maine, and South Carolina are the states where you can legally officiate weddings. The other 47 states, you're able to do, um, offer your notary service and things like, um, different ways you can use this. So just check out your options. Um, I'm going to continue to look into some things. If you guys know of some other ways, drop them in the comments and let me know. If you like my video, make sure that you hit that button. Give me the thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I will be posting um, some other videos coming really soon just on my adventure. This is just the paperwork side, of course. We all have to do paperwork as a notary, and you need to do research on everything that you're doing to even become it. This is the training process, and a lot of it you can do yourself. YouTube is your friend. YouTube is your friend researches your friend find another notary who has been in the business for some time and shadow them ask them some questions join some facebook groups um it's just many ways to educate yourself so it's your girl thick trap hippie with healthy hood network make sure that you take your vitamins while you out there notarizing documents wash your hands sanitize and you know what i'm saying subscribe to my channel all right peace